How do ordinary people feel when faced with a bonus of more than 10 million yuan? Well, I would probably be too excited to sleep thinking about how to spend it. However, a young girl was not only calm when faced with a huge bonus, she also rejected the high-paying job opportunity offered by the bonus-issuing unit, and resolutely returned to her motherland to engage in scientific research. She is Zhuang Xiaoying, a computational mechanics and rock mechanics researcher known as a genius girl. Zhuang was less than 30 years old when she won that huge bonus. How did she do it? After returning to China, did her development go well? Hi! Welcome to Tech Teller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's move on to today's topic. Zhuang Xiaoying's mother is a rural woman who only attended primary school and works in a nearby factory. Her dad is also a farmer and goes to the city to work as a construction worker during the slack season. The parents don't have high requirements for their daughter. After seeing her study well, they can't help but look forward to their daughter becoming a doctor in the future. In the eyes of rural people, being a doctor is the most promising. During the summer vacation, Zhuang went to the construction site with her father. She thought the cranes and reinforced concrete there were very interesting. I want to be an architect, she whispered in her heart. During the college entrance examination, Zhuang's grades were much higher than key undergraduate admission scores. When filling in the volunteers, the family had a conflict. Her father suggested that she choose a medical major. It is a supreme honor to treat and save people's lives. However, Zhuang wanted to apply for a major in civil engineering at Tongji University. Of course Zhuang won. In September 2001, she successfully registered in the civil engineering major of Tongji University. There are not many girls in this major. At the beginning, a few male classmates teased her, you'd change majors as soon as possible. However, Zhuang's final grade has always been the first in her grade. During the postgraduate period, Zhuang's research direction was tunnel and underground construction engineering. Because of her excellent scientific research ability, Zhuang Xiaoying won the American Lord Scholarship of Tongji University during her postgraduate period. In September 2007, Zhuang Xiaoying completed her postgraduate studies at Tongji University and obtained a master's degree. At the same time, she was be covered in the Overseas Research Student Award Scheme and was going to study for a doctorate at Durham University in the UK. From 2007 to 2010, in recognition of Zhuang's outstanding scientific research achievements, the Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council awarded Zhuang the Dorothy Hodgkin Postgraduate Awards for three consecutive years. Such economic security allows Zhuang Xiaoying to invest in scientific research more worry-free. The scientific research atmosphere in Europe is relatively relaxed, and top universities often exchange and share academic achievements with each other. In their view, this young girl from the East is a rare academic talent. Various colleges and universities sent invitations to Zhuang, attracting her to continue to complete scientific research in their schools. Zhuang also likes the academic atmosphere of Durham University very much. It is the core of European academics, surrounded by top talents. Their equipment and investment are the most advanced. Everything here makes her handy. Most people take four to five years to study for a doctorate, and even six or seven years. Zhuang received her doctorate in three years. After graduation, after careful consideration, Zhuang decided to go to Norway for postdoctoral research. Hearing that she is still studying abroad, her Chinese classmates jokingly asked her, are you planning to settle in Europe in the future? In fact, she was never attracted by the superior conditions abroad, and she only thought about how to gain more knowledge and use it back home. In 2015, Zhuang has adapted to the climate in Norway. She has seen the aurora in winter and the largest Christmas tree in the world. Because of the analysis of different soil layers, she often travels through the forest in the ice and snow to find experimental samples. At the end of this year, Zhuang received a very exciting news, the German Humboldt Foundation will award her the Sofia Kovalevskaya Award. 
Zhuang will be the seventh Chinese in the world to receive the bonus, which is worth 1.65 million euros, or 12.46 million yuan. After receiving the prize, Zhuang calmly decided its use, she will work with top international scholars in the field of computational mechanics to develop new nanocomposite materials and their applications in civil engineering at the Institute of Continuum Mechanics at Hanover University. German researchers are more academically rigorous. Zhuang also immediately liked the working atmosphere here. Soon, she made outstanding achievements in scientific research on building methods and building materials. After completion of research at the University of Hanover, all the top European laboratories have once again sent her an invitation, and her German partners have also retained her affectionately. German universities are ready to provide her with a superior position and sufficient scientific research funds so that Zhuang can continue to specialize in material science. However, Zhuang, who has been studying abroad for eight years, has different plans at this time. When Zhuang Xiaoying was studying abroad, her teachers at Tongji University also cared about her growth. Zhuang is also concerned about the development of domestic scientific research. I will definitely come back. Zhuang Xiaoying would say every time she left China. When she finished her research at the University of Hanover in Germany, she immediately got in touch with Tongji University and was ready to return to China. Tongji University was also very excited to hear the news, this is a genius that Germany cannot keep. Today, Zhuang Xiaoying is a professor in the Department of Underground Architecture and Engineering, School of Civil Engineering, Tongji University. Civil engineering majors have always had more boys and fewer girls, and many people have prejudice against girls in this industry. Just like Zhuang was blocked by her parents when she wanted to apply for this major. However, the emergence of Zhuang has become the best example. This young female professor is not only good-looking, knowledgeable, but also good at scientific research. Who says girls can't study civil engineering? At Tongji University, young freshmen wanted to meet Zhuang as soon as they registered. So Zhuang Xiaoying's class is always full of people. In some third-year professional courses, freshman students will follow along. Zhuang persuaded them to go back. The student also said, I heard that Professor Zhuang is a genius, and I want to try to take the genius class earlier so that my grades can improve. Zhuang Xiaoying said, No one is a genius in the world, and if there is one, he or she is more willing to find a way that others can't find. Studying hard is the best genius. In addition to outstanding performance in teaching, Zhuang's scientific research work has not relaxed. She also actively drives the experts she met while studying in Europe to settle in the teaching and research team of Tongji University. She has said, when a little girl from a rural area came to Shanghai for the first time, she was shocked to see high-rise buildings, which made me choose civil engineering firmly. Zhuang used her own strength to break people's prejudice against gender and discipline. She used her own efforts to write the legend of genius. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that are worth spreading every day. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.